Hi, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure FortiGate firewall with the OSPF routing protocol. In the previous video on the FortiGate series, I have shown you how to initially set up the FortiGate firewall and what are the stuff it can handle and what are the features it has. Today, I'm going to show you a simple and easy method of configuring the OSPF routing. So let's go to network and interfaces. I have already configured the interfaces with the networks. So these are the three interfaces I'm using right now. And to do the configuration of the OSPF under the networks, go to OSPF. And this is where you do all the configuration for the OSPF. The first thing you would notice is there is no other option to do add different process IDs in this part in this firewall. I don't know why the reason they did not do that, but it it may not have the option to create multiple process IDs for the OSPF, but it would accept the multiple process ID routes coming into this firewall. So you can create uh, you can add one process ID for this firewall and then add the areas and the networks in the areas. So my process ID would be one so I have created it has 0, .0, 0, 0 0.0.0.1 and this is how we configure the process IDs or the areas area IDs in the FortiGate firewall and this is a completely different to the Cisco devices and now let's add the area my right now I'm using a backbone area I'm just creating a simple default area zero and I have to add the networks so click networks add select the area and select the IP address or the net mask that you want to add to this particular area I am right now I'm adding all the areas all the networks into this area add 0 0 0 0 which means I am allowing any network into this area slash 0 I am allowing all the networks into this area right now so this is a simple way to create that statement and you can add the interfaces that you want to that the routes are generating into this area using names let's say I have two ports that I have to add to this OSPF so I am creating port 2 and adding the interface to that port 3 adding the port 3 interface if you see there is a cost for the interface and the cost would tend to make the prioritization from where uh, how the route should be uh, traversed into the network the interfaces option would help you like that to prioritize the cost of the port that you want to send the traffic either egress or ingress so now we have done all the things let's click apply so now I have applied the OSP of configuration on the device and let's make sure that I have all the policies that network traffic can route through the device. Policies. Okay, I have security policy. It's good. So now I, everything should go as expected. Let's open the web browser on my VM that I have connected behind the firewall. In the meantime, I'll show you what's my setup. So this is my basic setup that I am using now. This is the GNS3 VM and this is my Ubuntu VM that I have connected behind the FortiGate firewall and there is a router behind the firewall and the VM which is creating the OSPF, OSPF network for the firewall to connect. So I am connecting the firewall and the PC through the OSPF. This is my VM. I will go Google and I can reach Google which means I have route from the PC VM to the internet that means I have a OSPF successfully established on the firewall let's observe the traffic
you see I have all the port TCP443, TCP80 ports connections going on that is what the successful connection is and the forwarding routes for that would be Yeah, if I see the routing monitor, I see OSPF on this on this port. So if anything, if any device that has to reach 20.20.20 .20 network, it should go through the OSPF through the gateway 20.20.21.2, .20 which is the router IP address. So, so this is it. I have one OSPF route that's been generated. And the other there is one more SPF route that is also being generated and stored in the routing table of this router I can say we have successfully configured OSPF route on the firewall I hope this looks simple for you on configuring the router on the FortiGate hope this helps you and you can comment on the comment section and let me know if you have any questions I'm happy to answer them thank you have a great day bye bye